Welcome to Technology and Livelihood Education video lesson for grades 7 and 8. Under the Specialization Computer System Servicing, we will be tackling performing computer operations. And under that, we'll be discussing basic parts of a computer system. This is Teacher Gwen, your Information and Communications Technology teacher. But before we move on to our lessons today, let's all together put ourselves in the presence of our Almighty Father as we virtually gather in prayer. Most gracious and heavenly Father, Thank you for this brand new day. Thank you for your wonderful ways in which you provide for us all. For your protection and love, we thank you. Help us to focus our hearts and minds on what we are about to learn. Inspire us by your Holy Spirit as we listen. Guide us by your eternal light as we discover the world around us. We ask all this in your precious mighty name, in Jesus' name. Amen. Hello everyone, welcome to TLE Subject. As for your attendance, you may take a few screenshots from this video and send it to my email. That will serve as your attendance. Thank you. I know you're all excited. And so we can start. Let me read to you the objectives of our lesson. After going through this video, you are expected to 1. Determine the basic parts of computer. 2. Select appropriate hardware according to the task assigned and required output. 3. Classify the devices into input, output, processing, and storage hardware. So, to give you an overview of what our lesson is going to be, let's check this out. When you hear the word computer, what comes into your mind? What do you think is this? Alright, that's your most favorite thing to do. Games. Another one. What about this? Correct! We are all living in this era of internet. What else? Oh, that logo. That is supplementary to internet. That is a browser. Very good. There's some example of browser. We have Mozilla Firefox, Internet Explorer, Opera Mini, Safari, Google Chrome, and many more. Another we have... What is this? There are lots of keys. Okay, correct. That is keyboard. Shall we have another one? Oh, this one looks like a disc. That's it. It's storage. Shall we have last one? Okay. Incredible. That is mouse. So now you have an idea of what our lesson is going to be. Also, I want you to watch this video in title. What's inside the computer? Do you remember when you first realized that your computer was more than just a monitor and keyboard? that between the mouse click and the video playing, there was something that captured your intention, understood it, and made it real? What is that something? Is it gremlins? 
Let's imagine that we can shrink down to the size of an electron and inject ourselves into a click of a mouse. If you took your mouse apart, you'd see that it's really a very simple machine. It has a couple buttons and a system for detecting motion and distance. You might have an optical mouse that makes these measurements with lights and sensors, but older ones did this with a hard rubber ball and some plastic wheels. Same concept. When you click the button on your mouse, it sends a message to the computer with information about its position. When your mouse click is received, it's handled by the basic input-output subsystem. This subsystem acts like the eyes and ears, and mouth and hands, of the computer. Basically, it provides a way for the computer to interact with its environment. But it also acts like a buffer to keep the CPU from being overwhelmed by distractions. In this case, the I.O. subsystem decides that your mouse click is pretty important, so it generates an interrupt to the CPU. Hey CPU, got a click here! The CPU, or central processing unit, is the brains of the whole computer. Just like your brain doesn't take up your whole body, the CPU doesn't take up the whole computer, but it runs the show all the same. And the CPU's job, its whole job, is fetching instructions from memory and executing them. So while you're typing, 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 maybe really fast, like 60 words a minute, the CPU is fetching and executing billions of instructions a second. Yes, billions, every second. Instructions to move your mouse around on the screen, to run that clock widget on your desktop, play your internet radio, manage the files you're editing on the hard drive, and much, much more. Your computer's CPU is one heck of a multitasker. But oh my gosh, there's a very important mouse click coming through now. Let's drop everything now and deal with that. There are programs for everything that the CPU does. A special program for the mouse, for the clock widget, for the internet radio, and for dealing with letters sent by the keyboard. Each program was initially written by a human in a human-readable programming language like Java, C++, or Python. But human programs take up a lot of space and contain a lot of unnecessary information to a computer, so they are compiled and made smaller and stored in bits of ones and zeros in memory. The CPU realizes that it needs instructions for how to deal with this mouse click, so it looks up the address for the mouse program and sends a request to the memory subsystem for instructions stored there. Each instruction in the mouse device driver is duly fetched and executed. And that's not nearly the end of the story. Because the CPU learns that the mouse was clicked when the cursor was over a picture of a button on the monitor screen, and so the CPU asks memory for the monitor program to find out what that button is. And then the CPU has to ask memory for the program for the button, which means that the CPU needs the monitor program again to show the video associated with the button, and so it goes. And let's just say that there are a lot of programs involved before you even see the button on the screen light up when you clicked it. So just the simple task of clicking your mouse means visiting all of the critical components of your computer's architecture. Peripherals, the basic input-output system, the CPU, programs, and memory, and not one gremlin. Check your prior knowledge. Let's answer a few questions under pre-assessment. Let's go! First question. Which of the following you should not use when entering an information in the computer? Is it touchpad? Could it be a keyboard? or a mouse or a printer what is your answer very good the answer is printer now let's proceed to the next question what do you call a device that controls the movement of the cursor or pointer on a display screen? Is it a flash drive? Could it be a mouse? 
Is it random access memory? Or a motherboard? What is your answer? The correct answer is mouse. Very good! Moving on to the next question. What storage device you should use if you consider portability and easy access to edit files? Is it touch screen? A hard disk drive? Could it be a flash drive? Or a printer? What is your answer? Very good! The correct answer is flash drive. Next question. Among the following, which one is an output device? Is it monitor? A camera? A RAM? Or random access memory? Or a scanner? Very good! Among the following, monitor is the only output device. Next question, what is known to be the brain of the computer? Is it monitor? A motherboard? Random access memory? Or the central processing unit? What is your answer? Brilliant! The answer is Central Processing Unit. Here are some terminologies that we need to crack and define for us to connect the dots in our further discussions. We have Information, input device, rewritable, computer software, computer hardware, output device, storage device, and data. Information Information is the process data on which decisions and actions are based and in such a way as to be meaningful to the person who receives it. It is anything that is communicated. Input device. An input device is a piece of hardware used to provide data to a computer used for interaction and control. It allows input of raw data to the computer for processing. Rewritable. It refers to storage media that can be repeatedly recorded many times. It is designed to allow digital information to be recorded on it and overwritten repeatedly. Computer software. It is a collection of instructions that interacts with computer hardware on how to perform a task. Computer hardware. It refers to the tangible parts of computers like mouse, keyboard, monitor, and the like. Output device, any piece of computer hardware equipment which converts information into human readable formats.
storage device. A storage device is any type of computing hardware that is used for storing, porting, or extracting data files and objects. Storage devices can hold and store information both temporarily and permanently. They may be internal or external to a computer, server, or any computing device. Data. These are raw materials that are processed to produce an information. It can be the form of text, numbers, images, and etc. In performing computer operations, we first need to know the basic parts of a computer. We have hardware and software. Under hardware, we have four different classifications. First, we have input device, output device, we also have processing device, and storage device. First one, we have input device. These are devices that help the user in entering data into the computer. First, we have mouse. Mouse is a device that controls the movement of a cursor or pointer on a display screen. Keyboard. It is a primary input device used in a computer. It is composed of different buttons with specific functions, letters, numbers, and symbols. Next, we have touchpad. Touchpad is a device for pointing on a computer display screen. It is an alternative to the mouse. Now we have microphone. Microphone is a device that accepts audio input from users. We have web camera. Web camera is used to capture video and still images. Next one, we have scanner. Computer scanner is a device that optically scans images, printed text, handwriting, or an object and converts it into digital image. Joystick Joystick is an input device that can be used for controlling the movement of the cursor or a pointer in a computer device. So this time, let's test your memory if you can still recall what we have discussed about input devices. Guess the following input devices based on the description and scrambled letters given below. The first one. Blank is a device that controls the movement of a cursor or pointer on a display screen. What is your answer? Very good! It's a mouse! Question. Blank is used to capture video and still images. Brilliant! It's a web camera.
Next one, we have a device that optically scans images, printed text, handwriting, or any objects and convert it into digital image. What do you think it is? Excellent! That is scanner! Very good! How about this one? This is an input device that can be used for controlling the movement of a cursor or a pointer in a computer device. This is usually used in playing games. Very good! It's joystick! Another one. Oh, this is the primary input device used in a computer. It is composed of different buttons with specific functions, letters, numbers, and symbols. I guess this is your favorite one. Very good! That's keyboard! Congratulations! You answered the question excellently! There you go! Those are some examples of input devices. Come on! Let's sum it up! in time, let's proceed to the second classification of hardware, which is the output device. Output device is any piece of computer hardware equipment which converts information into human readable format. First, we have printer. Printer is a peripheral machine that is used to generate hard copies of any document. Speaker It is a device which converts an electrical audio signal into a corresponding sound. Also, we have monitor. Monitor is an output device that displays information in pictorial form. Another, we have headphone. Headphones are a pair of small loudspeaker drivers worn on or around the head over a user's ear. Now we have LCD projector. An LCD projector is a type of video projector for displaying videos, images, and computer data on a screen or other flat surfaces. At this point, let's test your wit as we play this game entitled Match Me Whip. Direction. Match the names with the pictures of the output devices. We have here headphone, speaker, projector, and printer. Now, can you tell me where the headphone is? Now, let's can you point where the speaker is? 
How about the projector? And lastly, the printer. Great job! Congratulations! And we are done with input and output devices. Now let's proceed to processing device. Processing devices are the components responsible for the processing of information within the computer system. First, we have a motherboard. The motherboard is a printed circuit board and foundation of computer that is the biggest board in the computer chassis. It allocates power and allows communication to and between the CPU, RAM, and all other computer hardware components. We also have Central Processing Unit. A central processing unit, also called Central Processor, Main Processor, or just Processor, is the electronic circuitry that executes instructions compromising a computer program. Now let's move on to the last classification of hardware, which is the storage device. Storage device. It is a technology consisting of computer components and recording media that are used to retain digital data. It comes with two types, fixed and removable storage device. Let me show you some examples of fixed storage devices. First and foremost, we have hard disk drive. The hard disk drive is a spindle magnetic disk called flatters that records and store information. Also, we have random access memory. Random access memory, or RAM, is a type of data storage used in computers that is generally located on the motherboard. It is the main memory used by a computer for quick access since it is much faster to read and write than other forms of storage. Now let's move on to removable storage devices. Here are some examples. First, we have compact disc. Compact disc or CD is a molded plastic disc containing digital data that is scanned by a laser beam for the reproduction of recorded sound and other information. Also, we have external hard disk. It is a device which is plugged into your machine to give almost immediate storage space without the need storage and make upgrades. One of the most popular storage devices is flash drive. A USB flash drive is a device used for data storage that includes a flash memory and an integrated universal serial bus or USB interface. Most USB flash drives are removable and rewritable. And what's known to us and very popular to the cell phone users is the memory card. A memory card is a type of storage device that is used in storing media in data files. It is often used to store photos, videos, and the like. Congratulations! You're all familiar with four classifications of hardware. The input, output, processing, and storage devices. 
come and play a game with me. This is entitled, Which is Which? Match the devices in the corresponding classification. This is a mouse. Do you think this is an input device or an output device? What is your answer? Very good! It's an input device. Next, a monitor. Do you think it's an input or an output device? Very good! It's an output device. How about this one? A scanner. Is it an input or output device? What's your answer? Very good! Scanner is an input device. How about a headphone? think it's an input or an output device? What is your answer? Very good! Talking about the headphone, it is an output device. But note that when there is a microphone attached to it, it is both an input and an output device. How about a speaker? Is it input or output device? The answer. Very good. A speaker is an output device. Let us make it a little bit complicated. This time, you are going to choose among the four classifications of hardware. The input, output, processing, and storage. We have here the CPU. On which classification you think it belongs to? Think about your answer. Yes, obviously, it's a processing device. Excellent. How about this one? A motherboard. What do you think is the answer? How about this one? A keyboard. This device is commonly used in typing. Is it input, output, processing, or storage device? Very good. A keyboard is an example of input device. SD card. On which classifications of hardware do you think it belongs to? Very good! Storage device. SD card is where you keep your data files, most especially your photos and videos, right? And lastly, a web camera. A web camera is used to capture video and still images. On which classification do you think it belongs to? Very good! A camera is an example of input device.
Congratulations! You've done a great job today. We learned that in performing computer operations, we need to learn the basics of computer hardware. And under computer hardware, here are some classifications. Input devices, output devices, processing devices, and storage devices. There we have input device. It is a piece of computer hardware used to provide data to a computer used for interaction and control. It allows input of raw data to the computer for processing. That includes mouse, joystick, keyboard, microphone, camera, and scanner. Also, we have output device. It is any piece of computer hardware equipment which converts information into human readable formats. Under that, we have printer, projector, monitor, speaker, and headphone. Also, we have processing device. These are the components responsible for the processing of information within the computer system. Under that, we have CPU or the Central Processing Unit, Motherboard, also we have Sound Card, Video Card, and Network Interface Card. And lastly, we have Storage Device. A storage device is any type of computing hardware that is used for storing, porting, or extracting data files and objects. Storage device can hold and store information both temporarily and permanently. Under that, we have hard disk drive, random access memory, flash drive, memory card, and external hard disk. And finally, we have come to the assessment of your knowledge. And I'm very optimistic that you can answer all the questions very well because you have listened to our discussion. In your test notebook, write down your answers to the given questions. The test has two parts, multiple choice and identification. You can opt to pause the video if you need some time finalizing your answer. Come on, let's start! Direction. Choose the letter of the correct answer and write it in your test notebook. First question. What device are you going to use if you want to convert document file into tangible format? A. Printer B. Mouse C. Keyboard Or D. Projector Question number two. Joystick is an example of A or N blank device. A. Input. B. Output. C. Processing. Or D. Storage. Which of the following is an example of a fixed storage device? A. Flash drive B. Hard disk drive C. CD or DVD and D. External hard drive Number four. After the computer processes the data, the result will be first saved in the blank. 
A. Hard disk drive B. Flash drive C. CD or DVD And D. External hard drive Question number five. Blank is a type of computing hardware that is used for storing, porting, or extracting data files and objects. It can hold and store information both temporarily and permanently. A. Input device. B. Output device. C. Processing device. And D. Storage device. Question number six. What is known to be the brain of the computer? A. Central processing unit. B. Network interface card. C. Sound card. And D. System unit. Question number seven. Which of the following you should not use when entering an information to the computer? A. Joystick. B. Keyboard. C. Mouse. Or D. Central Processing Unit. Question number eight. I want to control the movement of the cursor or pointer on a display screen. What device do I need to use? A. Sound card. B. Keyboard. C. Mouse. Or D. Motherboard. Question number nine. Black is a device that's used for data storage that includes a flash memory and an integrated universal serial bus or USB interface. A. Random access memory. B. External hard drive. C. Speaker. Or D. Flash drive. For the last question, a printed circuit board and foundation of a computer that is the biggest board in the computer chases is called blank. A. Monitor B. Motherboard C. Sound card Now let's proceed to the part of our assessment. Let me read to you the direction. Identify the following hardware according to its classifications. Choose among the following. Input, output, processing, and storage. First, we have monitor. Second, And fifth, we have speaker. 
you can opt to pause this video if you still need more time finalizing your answers. Thank you very much. Well done! Now, you can check your answers based on the answer keys given. For your assignment, have some advanced reading on software and its classifications. Thank you so much for your active participation. I hope you learned something on the essential in performing computer operations. See you in the next video!